it's tomato season in new zealand guys tomato season in new zealand starts in september depending on where you are some places like southland can be very cold but in northland uh we can plant our tomatoes in september october november until december but some places it needs to be very warm and also I did plant my tomatoes like in December last year, a bit late, and they did amazing actually. And my mother in law was like, I don't know if those tomatoes would do any good. And they actually surprised us. They did amazing. I had a good big harvest with them. I still have in the I still have some in the freezer I've been using. And in those are where my Roma tomatoes and they did really good. So I've been searching I've been learning more about tomatoes these indeterminate tomatoes and determinate tomatoes i can't say much about that because i'm still learning so i'll skip that part and right now the important thing i do to my tomatoes is to pick a very sunny spot add sheep manure to my soil and when planting my tomatoes i always add blood and bone and compost and after i buried my tomato i'll add compost on top just as you can see i only add compost to my where i am planting the plants because i don't want to use too much compost when we are trying to grow food on a budget i am growing food on a budget so i have to be careful how much i'm using and before i forget guys today i learned that tomatoes are supposed to be planted very deep so that is why you see me removing some of the leaves and just leaving the top leaves so that I can plant this stem as deep as I can. They say it gives strong roots and also better yield. So we'll see. And the other thing, other than putting planting my tomatoes in a sunny spot and putting sheep manure, blood and bone and compost, I also use seaweed fertilizer. But sheep manure and seaweed fertilizer, they are very high in nitrogen. So since I'm planting about eight different types of tomatoes this year, and that's my first time planting a lot of tomatoes, I'm going to use a proper tomato fertilizer that is high in phosphorus. And the other guy I watched the other day, he said, use something that is high in phosphorus and also later on buy a tomato fertilizer that is high in potassium i think but <laughs> guy we don't get more need to buy all these things now so we are going to stay on our budget for me i'm just going to use i don't want to use too much sheep manure and seaweed because they do give me too much leaves if i'm being honest and since i'm planting i'm planting a lot of tomatoes types of eight different types of tomatoes i have about 30 plants but i'll give some away that is why i want to just use a proper tomato fertilizer later on at this stage they do need something high in nitrogen so sheep manure and seaweed fertilizer they are actually perfect they will make them grow and produce more healthy leaves which i need but i will need a fertilizer that will help me to promote more flowers and more fruit and that's where the tomato fertilizer comes in and i'll keep you updated on that on that part too guys just do what works for you i have planted my tomato to only using only a uh, sheep manure and seaweed and they've done amazing but i have had a lot of leaves on them but that's not a problem you can trim them and here i'm showing you these tags guys they are amazing i got them on shein and there are about 120 of them super amazing this year i've decided to mark everything that i'm planting because it's important and if you say for me i say that i'll remember what i've planted but i actually forget like completely forget and since i have about 30 plants of tomatoes i need to make sure i know where i'm planting every thing and i have to tag them and these tags are super good i need to buy more of them actually they are very good and they are very cheap but i can't remember the price i can't remember the price but i'll put it somewhere on the screen and the other thing tomato loves is watering them don't let them get dry make sure you water them 
and you water them um, very well, evenly and regularly. Don't let them go dry. Check them and make sure that the ground is not too wet. Check your soil. You can poke your finger into the dirt and see if it's that will tell you if it's dry or if it's too wet or if it's just right. And that's how I check myself. And also here, I'll be growing my tro I'll be training my tomatoes through the trellis. So I use uh, the bamboo sticks. We have bamboo sticks out on the farm. So I went to get some last season and they work amazing. And I'm just pushing them in the ground and I'm putting the bamboo stick right now because I don't want before the root produce. Once the root produce, the tomato leaves just they just they just like they travel. <laughs> I don't want to they travel around what can I say? What's the word I can use? They spread kind of and when I let them spread then grow bigger than put the stick in. I don't want to damage the roots, so it's better to put your bamboo stick or the stick or whatever trainers you're using just the same day you plant them or maybe next day. This is how they look right now. And once they're big enough, I'll tie them up. I'll start training them to tie them up on uh, bamboo sticks. And it works amazing for me. I did this last year and it worked out really good. And this helps to have better hair flow. And that's why I was planting my tomatoes a little bit closer so that I can just tie them up on the trailers and I will also be trimming them any bottom leaves and stuff like that so they can have a better hair flow. And I'm putting glass clippings right now because it keeps the moss and also it keeps the weeds out. You can use mulch, but I always use glass clippings and I also use dry leaves. They work amazing for me, but with glass clippings, you have to be careful that you don't put, you don't bring weed in your garden. <laughs> That's the only thing you have to be careful with. Otherwise, I will encourage you to use dry leaves or buy mulch from the store. And that works out really good. This helps to keep the moss so that the the ground is not getting too dry and i do that all the time and it works amazing anyway guys the other thing is just to fertilize them regularly and that's about it i don't do much with my tomatoes to be honest and to keep an eye on diseases and pets especially pets like they have this butterfly thing that i hate that white the green caterpillar thing i can't remember what it's called it's really bad. Keep an eye on that. Guys, after all this process, you have to water them after transplanting your tomatoes. Very important. Give them a very good drink. Like I said, I don't do much with my plants. Pick the sunny spot. I add sheep manure to my soil. I add blood and bone when planting in compost. And later on, after a week, I'll start fertilizing them with seaweed until they grow to a level where... I know that now I can start using a proper tomato fertilizer this year, which I'll keep you updated. And I also make sure I keep an eye on um, any pets and diseases just to avoid that. And once they grow a little, I'll show, I'll show you in my next video how I prevent pets and diseases. That is in the next video. And guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and see you in the next video.